All right, we are ready for another featherweight bout in our featherweight tournament with title bout 2PC. Tonight, Kunyaki Shibata, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, takes on terrible Terry McGovern in a 10-round bout. Both these fighters uh, received a first round by uh, Shibata took out Steve Cruz and Steve Cruz most notably known for his uh, upset victory over Barry McGuigan uh, to win the featherweight title back in mid 80s Shibata actually fell behind the first two rounds but a wild third round where both fighters landed some big shots and then in finally in the fourth round Shibata sent Cruz to the canvas and then poured it on the referee had to stop it with a minute 35 left in the fourth round to get the TKO win McGovern meanwhile made quick work of a pretty not pretty uh, good fighter uh, Johnny Famichon and he took him out in two rounds uh, they stopped that fight 45 seconds uh, left in the second round TKO victory for Terry McGovern uh, Famichon didn't even have, <laughs> I don't think he had any uh, punch points at all uh, McGovern was just all over him from the outset and he easily wins this one and if we had to place odds on this one I'm thinking McG uh, McGovern's got the edge Shibata's chin's a little suspect, but let's head to the let's head to the uh, ring and find out. So there you go. Look at that uh, control factor. McGovern definitely has the advantage. Aggression, uh, McGovern. Killer instinct, McGovern. Uh, chin, McGovern. Uh, endurance. McGovern has a slight edge there. Other than that, if we were, I don't normally play with strategies, but uh, if you were, he definitely has the uh, go for a knockout and fight inside uh, pretty much locked in. Uh, accuracy, because Shibata might have the slight edge there. Power-wise, definitely McGovern, but not by much. So it's... Should be all a war. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Shibata against McGovern. Here we go. And McGovern keeps control. Right out of the gate. Lands a big cross. Clean shot on Shibata. Shibata gets control. 42. It's going to be a miss. Counter. Misses from McGovern. Shibata loses control. Back over to McGovern. McGovern with a nice jab and then a straight right. McGovern still in control. Lands a nice cross. Back over to Shibata. Shibata 41. That's going to be a miss. Counter lands from McGovern. A big uppercut as Shibata moved in. Shibata. Nice combination. No cut. Shibata still in control with a big, huge right hand. Stuns McGovern. McGovern gets control. McGovern comes back and lands a nice straight right hand. Knocked down. Shabbat is down. Let's see if he can get up. Three, four, five. He's up at the count of five. And McGovern goes in for the kill. Shabbat ties him up. There's a miss. There's a... Oh, saved by the bell is another knockdown at the bell. I can't be saved by the bell in this fight. Five, six, seven, eight. 
nine. It's over, folks. Terry McGovern knocks out Shibato right at the end of the round one here. I got a little confused, thinking that there was a you could get saved by the bell, but we definitely have it set up where you don't. And Shibata could not make the count. McGovern quickly makes quick work of Shibata here in round one. Wow. Shibata has doesn't know what hit him. He's still down. McGovern has now uh, had two quick matches in this tournament. Let's go back to the... Uh, main screen here and uh, see I'm gonna pull up the uh, bracket here and see where we go from here all right so McGovern moves on. He'll take on Jackie Wilson. See if Mr. Wilson can give uh, McGovern more of a fight. As he moves to the round of 16, and as you look here, he's got a pretty... I mean, it'll be a tough, some tough fights, but definitely he might uh, make it to the uh, final eight fighters. I don't think his uh, road is any uh, tougher than any of the other fighters. Uh, if we go to the next uh, thing, uh, Hamed taking on Sadler. I expect Sadler to win that. Um, then you got Salvador Sanchez, Ruben Oliveras. That should be a whale of a fight. We could have a Salvador Sanchez, Sandy Sadler uh, fight there. That would be a fun one. And then you got in the other uh, bracket here, you got uh, or the other side of the bracket, you got young Griffo taking on Antonio Esparagoza. So next up will be Nassim Hamed going up against Sandy Sadler. Next bout in the tournament. So that was a quick one. It was fun. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.